the last 10 years, Mercy Ships Pacific has operated several ships across the Pacific and into Southeast Asia. Our purpose was to provide free dental and optical care to the poorer, more isolated island communities across the region. These vessels, crewed entirely by volunteers, visited 15 different nations, and our medical teams treated over 170,000 men, women, and children. We have now changed our name to Marine Reach, and we're expanding into new expressions of care and concern as a ministry of Youth with a Mission. Marine Reach will continue to operate smaller ships which are economical to run and better suited to reach the island communities we seek to serve. Special trucks are also being equipped with surgeries enabling us to reach past the coastal communities and into the more isolated inland areas. Permanent medical clinics are also being planned along with a greater number of primary healthcare teams. Our name change to Marine Reach brings new vision and hope for the poor as our ships and trucks of mercy reach out to touch the lives of men and women both physically and spiritually. Look around you. We live in nations that, compared to the rest of the world, have great wealth. The simple things in life we take for granted. However, those simple things like food, clean water, a basic education, shelter and medical services aren't readily available to a majority of the world's population. Many of us really do care about the suffering of others and want to do something to help. Yes, we can give our dollar a day, but there are opportunities to do something more. To be personally linked with the life of someone suffering in poverty is a life-changing experience for all concerned. That's why I want to introduce you to Marine Reach. Marine Reach was formerly known as Mercy Ships Pacific and is a ministry of youth with a mission. It is dedicated to linking caring people to expressions of compassion around the world. Trucks equipped with dental surgeries will be used by our medical teams to reach into the isolated villages of the South Pacific and Southeast Asia, bringing love and concern to communities that can only dream of such care. Permanent medical clinics are also being planned to these nations that will be staffed by volunteers like you and I. Special containers are being sent to needy areas and many primary health care teams have already been at work in a number of Pacific and Asian nations. Working through our own Ruel Foundation, opportunities are also available to adopt the specific medical needs of deformed children. Marine Reach will continue to network across the Pacific and Southeast Asia using ships to carry medical teams to the poorer, more isolated island communities. Over the last 10 years, we have visited over 100 ports throughout 15 nations and treated over 170,000 people. In fact, in one 18-month period, we saw over 47,000 patients in the Philippine Islands alone. Hundreds have received their eyesight back after our surgeons removed blinding cataracts on board the MV Island Mercy. It's real personally satisfying to know that you've done something really positive for somebody who would otherwise be blind for the rest of their life. It almost makes me cry. Manny is a 27-year-old who has lost sight in both eyes through diabetes. The first day he's very quiet and nervous, but the doctors are confident that they will be able to help him. After a prayer for Manny and the surgical team, one of his eyes is operated on. He returns next morning and is the first patient to have his bandage removed. The reaction of everyone, including other patients, is unmistakable as he counts the doctor's fingers. Manny returns the next day and his other eye is operated on. This time his face reveals a lot more emotion as the reality of receiving his sight back dawns on him. I feel happy now because my both eyes I can see now. And then I, I thank God for this successful operation. To watch him walk down the gangway unaided, full of confidence and independence, is a stirring sight for all the crew of the Island Mercy. Other people have similar stories. Gloria is 37, a solo mother of three who has been blind since she was 20 and is wholly dependent on her brother for everyday life. After her operations on both eyes, she explained that she was very happy to be able to see again. She's thankful to God and the people who helped her and that she would now be able to work and help raise her three children. Flor Della Lisa is a widow. 
has 10 children and is so thrilled to be able to see again, she thanks anyone who comes near her. There are around 20 million people in the world who are blind and could receive sight from this relatively simple procedure. Normally on an outreach, the dental and optometry teams are busy as well. The dental team treat patients already screened through the local health officials. Additional training is given in oral hygiene, teaching children how to take care of their teeth, with each patient receiving a tube of toothpaste and a toothbrush. The optometry team tests patients' eyesight and provide free glasses. In some island nations, a pair of glasses may cost several months' wages. Women and children suffer the most, often deprived of an education simply because of poor eyesight. A simple pair of reading glasses can enable them to return to school or simply read their Bible. Over $5 million worth of medical supplies and equipment have been donated, with thousands of men, women and children being touched by God's love in a personal way. Our new ship, the MV Pacific Link, will operate in the South Pacific, working among the 7,000 islands that make up that region of the world. Equipped with a dental and ophthalmic operating surgery, and with a range of up to 10,000 miles, this little ship will reach the most isolated and forgotten corners of the Pacific, bringing Christ's heart of compassion in the form of both physical and spiritual care. Additional ships are being planned for other areas around the world. Training is an important part of the program, with over 600 young men and women having been trained for Christian service in our discipleship training schools over the last 10 years. Special performing arts schools and outreaches are also available through the Detour Theatre Company. Applications are being received for these programs, which are being held both on board the MV Pacific Link and in our shore-based training facilities. These schools will radically change your life. Be a part of our Mercy Ministry by sailing on our ship. Or you could join one of our medical teams working in a developing nation. Perhaps you could help pay for a child's surgery, or even donate a soft toy to bring a smile to someone's face. If you have training in marine navigation and engineering, you could join as crew on one of our ships. Your administration and communication skills would be great in any one of our New Zealand, Australian, Fijian, Philippine or New York offices. There are many ways to link with people in need. And we at Marine Reach invite you to join the dozens of churches, service organisations, corporations and individuals who support this project. Together we really can make a difference.